Have you ever wondered why your game animation don't quite reach the polished level of AAA title like Alan Wake 2? It's all about the system behind the scenes called ALS or Advanced Locomotion System. In this system, they are using linked animation, dynamic sequences, animation layers, lots of blending methods like inertialization blending and lot more blending options. We start from very basic stuff like idle animation and animation blueprint and how they are connected so beginner will understand it as well. Next. We go for cycle animation and in there we use most updated feature of Unreal Engine to implement a smooth animation with a starting and a stopping with the distance matching. We use additive animation for leaning or character when walking or jogging so it looks natural. Next we go for pivot animations that help our game be more natural when player changing its direction suddenly. Next we go for most advanced and accurate turn in place system that use curves and root motion for having close to real reality turn animation. Next, we implement all of the options for crouching as well. We will master jumping animation by integrating distance matching for a smooth and realistic airborne movement. Next, we go for gun and aiming and we will use again layers for that so our code looks more organized. Next, for the foot, we do a advanced tracing so foot always on the ground even if it is on curved surfaces. Next, we do a weapon animation like reloading firing and so on. Next we go for audio, for example reload audio, fire audio, foot step so if the speed of our character is less so the volume of the foot sound less as well. Next we implement visual effects like impact on concrete or glass and muzzle flash and shell ejection and lots more. Next we do the UI part for our gun. We show how many clips and bullet on our actual gun so it looks more modern. Next we do the health bar like the dead space health bar and even for shield we do it like dead space as well. Next we go for pickups and how we can make them more modular. So you just have one blueprint and you can tell it what it should be. Either it should be health, clips, ammo or shield. Next we go for landscape and PCG. We have two main sections for PCG. One basic, one more in detail. For the enemy we go for Kraken that is really big and beautiful. It can attack us with a different kind of attacks, it can move and it can die. For learning all of these I show you most advanced way of debugging your game. Like the arrows, print strings and slow modes. And even I'll show you some tricks for organizing your code in blueprint. And some folder structure that you can use in your advanced and AAA game. With this course we have a big discord channel that you can join and always ask your question. I'll be always there and my friends will be always there like Max that helped me on this course a lot. Actually the health bar and shield and helmet is his design. So let's just begin this course together.